Finding this swamp usually requires sailing. Beware of serpents on your way. Full serpent guide video is in the description. Land your boat on a safer biome next to the swamp and set up a protected portal. Before you explore the swamp, make poison mead. Health and stamina meads are also a good idea. I recommend two stamina foods and one health food as you'll need a lot of stamina when you're exploring. The best combo at this stage is queen's jam, carrot soup and deer stew. This will help to counter the constant wet debuff you get in the swamp, which lowers your stamina regen by 15% and your health regen by 25%. You should also have your Ikethra ability ready to use. Take a bronze mace, buckler and fine wood bow with fire or flint arrows. Troll armor will help you to explore faster and run away from mobs if you need to. Bronze gear gives you more armor so you can decide which you prefer to take. The stag breaker can be useful if you get swamped with mobs. You may also want to make a set of recovery gear in case you die. Sleep before you go to get your max rested buff. Also, the swamp mobs at night are more numerous and more difficult. Plus, the cold debuff you get at night lowers health regeneration 50% and stamina regeneration generation 25%. Skeletons and blobs or oozers are weak to the blunt damage from the mace, but it also does good damage to the drago. Archers can be more difficult. You can range them using trees as cover or parry their attacks. Abominations you can either run away from or fight them with a sword by dodge rolling their attacks. A full abomination guide video is in the description. In the water, you'll find hostile leeches that can poison you. You can range them, but with poison mead, jumping in with your mace kills them pretty fast. Join my Valheim server. See my videos before anyone else. Watch me stream on Twitch. Save 10% on your game servers or buy merch. All these links in the video description. At night, wraiths can spawn. The best way to fight these is to parry their attacks and counter. They can be useful to kill as they drop chains, which are rare in Valheim. Certlings can attack you from range, but their spawner is easy to make a farm out of. Just dig around it until it's entirely submerged in water. The certling will die when they spawn, giving you an easy source of certling cores and coal. Look out for turnip seeds while you explore. Farming turnips provides you with much better food. You'll also see swamp crypts. Enter these using the Swamp Crypt key you get from killing the Elder or by using a chair. Elder and Swamp Crypt guide videos are in the description. You may want to explore crypts first so that you can upgrade to Iron Gear, making the Swamp easier. Also, once you can enter the crypts, you can use them as places to regain your rested buff by using a fireplace on the legend side. You can also find Ancient Bark and Guck on Ancient Trees in the Swamp. To cut down these trees, you will need a Bronze Axe. To get the Guck, you can build up and hit it with your pickaxe. The bark is used in many crafting recipes, including root armor, and the Dragafang bow. The Guck is also a crafting material, most notably for the Dragafang bow and green standing torches. You can find Bone Mass's location in the swamp from the Vegvisors found in Swamp Crypts and Ruins. For a full Bone Mass guide, click the video on screen now.